It's, it's a crazy experience because it's really a lifetime uh, story. And it's my, uh, my life as well as the life of the characters. Um, because, for example, when I wrote that third episode, which is almost 10 years after the last one, um, I thought I knew the characters and it would be easy to write the script and uh, I just had to follow, you know, um, the, 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 the line of, the, of their life, their life li lifeline. But um, it was a lot more complex than the two, uh, the two first movies because they're, they're not young anymore, so I had to really deal about what's, what's, uh, what's different about not being a student, not being um, free like someone who doesn't have children, um, not being spontaneous like what you are when you're 25 years old. So wh when you're 40, you have to fr face that uh, you have more responsibility about many things, your job, your uh, lover, your children, if you have children. And um, so it was really complicated to build something with something I knew and something I had to uh, make evolve or make change. Uh, and it was the same difficulty for the actors. Uh, so it was really interesting to go through that process w for me with the writing and for the actors because I remember the first day uh, Romain was really lost in his character because he had like um, uh, habits with Xavier and he, it wasn't the same Xavier so he didn't know how to deal with that. So it took like a few days to adjust to the new character. So we really, it was really interesting to go through that uh, thing. So it really is an organic process for you and the cast. Yes. And you're also dealing, I guess, from listening to you talking at the moment about changing the energies of these characters, their energy changes. Yes, yes, because also I have to deal with who they are as human beings, you know, because when you work with an actor and he's uh, 25, for example, you know, Audrey Totu wasn't well known uh, at the very beginning. Uh, Amélie Poulain came out after that, and then she became a uh, w worldwide uh, star and, uh, and, uh, and very well known. So it's different to work with her today because I have to take that in account. So same thing with Romain Duris, same thing with Kelly Riley. Uh, so so f of course it's different because then I have to take in account things that happen in real life and mix that with making a movie. So. Um, has a lot of this come from yourself then, you, your experiences? Yes, and also I'm, I'm, I really work with observation, with uh, who they are. And when I did the casting for L'Auberge Espagnol, Kelly Riley was a student or, you know, she, she didn't really act in many things before. And Kevin Bishop as well. And so it was just about choosing people I liked and then bring them into a character and I just liked the fact that they were very British, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and then I tried to, to build a character with that instead of writing a script with a British character in my mind and then finding the right people to apply in that. to your script, did you then allow for some improvisation then with the actors to take place? Not too, not too often. Only Kevin Bishop was really good with improvisa improvisation. In L'Auberge Espagnol, there's one scene, for example, when they improvise uh, Kelly Riley and him. Um, but otherwise, I would improvise the, the, the writing. So very often I would write the script the day before, so they wouldn't know what they would uh, act uh, the next day. I would give them the text just before we shoot. So it was more me improvising the story every day rather than them improvising on the set. How wonderful though, how exciting. It was exciting, it was scary, <laughs> but it was exciting. I just wanted to ask about Roman. Is it true that you discovered him and also wrote the part of Xavier for him? Yes, um, so he was 19 years old when, uh, when we met him for Le Péril Jeune. Uh, he was a high school student in that movie. And I, we found him in front of a high school in France, so... So he had no intentions of becoming an actor at that no, stage? he didn't want to be an actor. <laughs> so, so, so we started together, it was my second movie. And uh, so yeah, it's, it's also a lifetime uh, story. You, you changed his life direction. And, and uh, <laughs> for me too. <laughs>